right. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming down to the new Hot Tech Product Showcase. Uh, my name is Dana Nowick. I'm the moderator for this session. It's about a 30-minute session. And these are basically all the new tech products to hit the scene. They're new to the market. Um, I work at MLS Products and Services. I'm hands-on with the realtors, helping them get on board with all the latest products such as this. That's why I'm moderating the panel here. But these gentlemen you see up in the front of the room, these are the, really the co-founders, the founders, the inventors, the innovators of all these products. So it's a great session to really uh, talk to them, see what their products are about. And basically the layout of this quick session is going to go as they're all going to give a, dem um, a brief introduction of themselves. They're going to tell you a little bit about their new products and what they do. And then after they're done, I'm going to bring them away from the podium so you can ask the, them questions or the questions you might have. So that's a great opportunity, again, to really talk to the founders and inventors of these products to see what they, how they can really grow your business uh, in the future, keep you ahead of the real estate market, and then making more money. So I'm going to here to help facilitate that. And with that said, I'm going to call up the first presenter. That's Devin Bezdecek with... Um, let me get the company, I'm sorry, HomeSpotter, and he's going to talk about augmented um, reality technology. It's brand new and how you can use it to grow your business. So, and then we're going to bring him again to the center stage here and everybody can um, ask some questions while the next person's setting up. So as he's speaking, think of some questions you might want to ask him on the product. So while that's, that's going on. All right, hi everyone. Um, Devin Bezicek with Mobile Realty Apps. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you is HomeSpotter, which is an augmented reality technology, and that is a feature of the MLSLI.com uh, app that we are launching um, today for Android, and uh, iPad and iPhone will be coming out in the next couple of days. It's just pending Apple's approval. So this is a free to use consumer app. So the public can use it, your clients can use it, and you can also use it. All right, so we have a very map-centric interface here. Um, if we click on the bottom there that says um, HomeSpotter, this is going to um, show you what the augmented reality is. And you can see that as I move the iPad around, the room to different um, directions, overlaid on the live camera feed are different properties in the area. You can see on the bottom left hand corner um, there's the little radar down there. What that little radar is showing are the different properties in yellow and then it'll also show the viewing um, screen with the, the shaded gray. These are listings for sale, these are active listings, correct. Um, so we can actually, from this screen, we can tap into a property and get additional information about it, uh, pricing, um, and then you can also get more photos about the property. It's for um, both iPad, iPhone, and Android. Uh, so the different people that are using the app can also favorite the property. Um, they can share it via email, text message, Facebook, or Twitter. And then you can also get um, directions to the property. So this is a really great uh, feature that you can use um, whenever you're right in front of a property that maybe you don't know is for sale or um, it's in a community that doesn't allow sign writers. Another great feature is when you're in a condo building, um, it will have all the properties in the condo building that are listed. Uh, rather than saying one property, like that property says right there, it'll say two or three properties for sale in that building. Uh, below that, you can see how many yards away it is. This radar um, works from a mile away. So within a mile, um, all the listings within that area, you can search using this tool. All right, and then um, just to kind of show off the new app, uh, if we go back into the map view, you can see um, it's a very map-centric interface, and it uses um, GPS. So we can tap the GPS. It'll zero in on our location. Um, as we toggle out and we move the map around, 
all the different listings automatically um, generate. So if we tap into a listing here, we can get additional information about that. And then another great um, tool is being able to refine your search. So if you were searching for a certain type of property, um, a different status, a different property type, you could do all of those things here within the app. And that way um, you can refine your search to get the properties you're looking for. So. That's a really cool, that's a really actually cool tool to keep everything kind of mobile. So um, thank you, Devin. I'm going to see if anybody has any questions. Um, Devin, if you want to come down actually and, and use the mic down here up there so the other person, uh, I think Greg, can set up. But first question here, if you want to come up to the, the mic so everybody can hear the question or if you want to just say it, we can repeat it. Thank you. I was just wondering, um, it gives you all the information except the listing broker's phone number which if you're outside the property and there's no sign, you're going to need if you want to get into the property right away. So that's the only thing I, I, I felt could be needed. The listing, uh, the listing agent's number is on the bottom of the listing. Is it because um, I didn't see it on here? Yeah, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't highlight on that. But at the bottom of the listing, when I brought up the listing view where you could see more okay. photos, right at the bottom it has the listing oh, broker and phone great. number. So, Thanks. yep. Okay, any, any other questions before we go on to the next uh, speaker? That, uh, we have one more question right here. Um, how do we get the app and what is it called? The, the question is, I'm sorry, how do we get the app and what is it called? Real quick, what, what this was about. So for Android users, um, today you can actually download the app. What you're going to want to search for is MLS LI. That's all you need to search and it should be the top result. Um, it'll be developed by mobile realty apps. For all the iPhone or iPad users, um, we've already submitted it to Apple, so they're just uh, pending the review. So once that is reviewed and it is accepted, then you can download it. So we're expecting that to be done in the next one to five days. Um, they're a little bit bogged down with their iOS 6 yeah, updates that they're still going on. So, so we'll, we'll let you guys stay posted with that, but keep in mind Devin's going to be here after the the uh, session for more questions, and he also has a booth. We're just we're, we're trying to keep it uh, in a good time frame, and he also has a booth out in the in the exhibitor room. So we're all going to yep. be kind of hanging around here um, as well for more questions after, so you can meet with Devin. One last yeah. thing, um, we are coming out with an agent branded version of the app. So rather than it being branded towards the MLS, you could brand it towards yourself, and then you can send that to your different clients, or you can do advertisement with that as well. Um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know. I know that we're going to be advertising it. Um, yeah, you can always right. Website. You can get so more we'll information through MLS and Happy Hour. After this, we're going to have an Happy Hour to meet with these guys as well, and in your packet. So we're also going to be kicking around after you can meet with us. All right, thank so you. So we're going to no problem. Thank you, Devin. Um, everybody, give a round of applause for Devin to thank him real quick. Thank you. Um, the next uh, speaker we have is Greg Robertson. He is the founder, I believe, of Cloud CMA. It's the new CMA program available for your business, and we're going to let him get into explaining that. So, all right. Uh, thank you, everybody. My name is Greg Robertson. I'm with uh, WNR Studios. Our product is called Cloud CMA. Uh, just go to cloudcma.com, and you'll be able to kind of check it out and do everything else. Uh, you get a free 30-day trial if you just go to Cloud CMA and uh, you can kind of experiment with uh, everything you want. Basically, it's an online report generator. These are reports that we generate uh, by integrating with the MLS to use in uh, as a supplement or uh, as an alternative to the reports that Stratus prints out, right? So, for instance, I can show you a CMA we have here. Um, this is a CMA we've done on a property in California. Um, it's got a nice cover page. Every page is branded with your information on the bottom. We have a lot of content that you can choose from to include in your CMA, like a, a contact me page that has an address of your home or your office where you're at, a lot of content that's already written for you that you can include in your CMA, a map of all the listings for your CMA. Everything's nice and big. I mean, the font's very easy to read. Uh, even the photos were very large, right? So we can bring over a lot of information, uh, big photos, map included there as well. Um, just very highly customizable, um, very easy to kind of read. Um, 
personalized so that you can actually uh, wow your clients with um, you know something that's a little bit different from what the MLS provides. So those of you that want to kind of stand out, make a difference, um, you can do that with Cloud CMA and the reports that it generates. We do not only do we do uh, uh, CMAs, but you can also print out uh, property reports. So single property reports that would be used like uh, almost like in uh, an alternative to cl client handout. We do buyer tours. So uh, if you're taking your clients out on tour, you can do a buyer tour and show them different properties um, as well. So it works out um, best in that. Um, one of the cool things you can do with Cloud CMA is you can actually create these reports by just sending an email. Okay, so I'll give you an example here. I'm going to type an email to property at cloudcma.com. In the subject line, I'm going to put my buyer's name. Okay, just so we, uh, I've never met you before, right? What's your first name? Chad, okay, so I'm going to say Chad, I'm going to put that in the subject line. And then in the subject body of the email, I'm going to type an MLS number, okay? And I'm going to click send. In about 30 seconds, it's going to go and it's going to return to me a report, um, a proper report on that property that I use the MLS number for um, that I can now send to my client, I can print or do anything else I want. So all the reports within Cloud CMA uh, we make it very easy to generate and you know we like to say if you know how to use email you really know how to use Cloud CMA. So you can see here that I got a report um, well no listings found at that address. This is what they call a bummer in a live bummer. <laughs> yeah so it, it does work uh, <laughs> trust me. Uh, yeah, good, good question. How much is it? So we have two plans available. There's a, um, I'm going to give you a little special code here, which I'm not talking about in the, in the arena here, but uh, two, two plans, 29 a month, okay, pay as you go, um, or you can sign up for a year, 249 for the whole year. So write this uh, promo code down, Zeus. I think that's Z-E-U-S. Okay. So if you go and order this and you put in the promo code Zeus, right? Um, you'll be able to get this for only $24.95 or $1.99 for the year. So that breaks down about $19.95 a month or less if you go the year plan. Um, 30 day, first 30 days are free. So when you sign up, we don't even charge your credit card. At day 20, we send you a reminder email, hey, do you really want to use this? Um, so it's, you know, we make it very simple and easy to get signed up. And uh, if you use a valid listing number, the, uh, the email thing does actually work. Anybody have any questions? That's a great, uh, easy product to use, very easy. I just wanted to see if Greg wants to come to the front. Anybody have one or two questions to ask while Joe, while Joe sets up for the next demo? Um, any questions in the audience about the cloud CMA? Um, okay. anybody, anybody? <laughs> First question gets a cloud CMA t-shirt. Oh, that? Yeah. come on, any uh, questions? Over here to the right. Ask, come on. Well, we, have a question, uh, we have a question right here, it's all right. What's the question? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Greg, right here we have a question. Yes. Where are you getting your comps from? Are they? It's, it works. It's, it's, it's all MLS data. It works with, it's tied into the MLS. The, the so question was where do you get your comps from? And it was, it's all. Yeah, I mean. You don't have to do like an MLS, sold, sold, all the prices. You have well, we're not, we're not automatically pulling those listings for you. So, yes, you would, you would do a search on the MLS like you did, get the comps you want, then put those MLS numbers in Cloud CMA, and then we generate the report for you. The main question here, this is actually a big question, what are the benefits of the cloud CMA versus the MLS? The MLS. Yeah, great question. I mean, so you can use the CMA off the MLS system. Everybody else does. So if your goal is to look like everybody else, go for it, right? This is something to, to stand out and differentiate yeah. yourself. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So say that one more time. Where you get all the information when you uh, from the MLS? MLS. It's, uh, it, and it's, what else you getting from? Just entire from MLS? From the MLS, yeah. From the MLS, we also combine it with other data. Like we'll bring over the best restaurants on from Yelp. We'll bring over some area photos from Google. We'll bring over uh, some school information from Education.com. So we blend information and reports from that. All combined together. Correct. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is based into MLS. One final question. One final question, maybe a winner for the t-shirt. Anybody, one question, get to the other the t-shirt. We had a... 
Oh. Oh, okay. Right there. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Greg. That's Greg from Cloud CMA. Everybody give him a round of applause. Thank you. Um, okay, great. Our third speaker is Joe Sabella from Real Pro Training and Consulting, going over his new product, the Real Estate Book of Business app. So this is also a brand new product as well, and Joe's going to tell you a little Good bit about it. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Joe Sabella, and I just would like to turn up the volume. Since the iPad was launched two years ago, many businesses have integrated the device into everyday operations. And now a local entrepreneur has an application to help real estate brokers make deals on the go. Fios One's Jessica Fragoso has more on this week's Long Island Business News Report. The way it, it helps and changes business for brokers is it just puts everything in one place. With a few touches of the screen, residential brokers can soon make deals on the iPad. Joe Sabella, president of Real Pro Training and Consulting in Woodbury, created a new app called Book of Business in which realtors can go to a person's home and fill out all the forms right there on the iPad. The app also lets brokers take pictures, create flyers, and more. The real power here is I can come to your house, I can list your property, I can get your signature on all the legal documents, they're all legal. Um, I could have your property on the internet before I walk out the door. The new app, which costs less than $20 a month, will also allow realtors to accept offers from buyers right on the spot. Sabella says he will launch Book of Business in about two weeks on Long Island Association of Realtors Convention in November. This is like just going to revolutionize the real estate business because it has, you know, everything that you need. In Woodbury, Jessica Fergoso, Fios One News. For okay. more news, weather, traffic, and sports, tune into Fios One News Long. What do you all think? Pretty cool, huh? Let me just get out of this and get back to this. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this is this is a, a new a new app. It's going to be released in about two weeks. We're still at that two week mark. That video was taken about a month ago, but we're still two weeks behind. So. That's when it's going to be available. And basically, everything that you do as a real estate agent is built into this app. I call it your book of business app because I believe that um, at the end of your career, you should have something to show for all of your efforts. Uh, this this uh, device that we see now, the iPad, it's in our lives all the time. Uh, how many people have gone to a restaurant and had the uh, waitress or waiter come over and take your order on an iPad? Anyone? All right. Uh, if you get into an airplane now, you're going to notice that the captain is no longer carrying on a big carry-on bag. They're actually carrying on an iPad. All you're going to need to do a listing presentation and take a listing is an iPad. You're going to be able to go in there. Uh, we use pop-ups right, you know, in, in just about every field, so it's very easy to enter a listing. It's going to manage all your buyers. You're going to be able to sign disclosure forms, pre-approval forms right in the app. Partners, we have a way that when you recommend somebody, the person that you're recommending knows that you recommended them. So with the tap of the screen, it's going to send an email. Someone asks you, to, hey, you got a good roofer? You can just pull up roofers, tap a button. That roofer information is going to get emailed to the person that asked for it. That roofer is going to get an email back letting them know that you recommended them. So everything is, is self-contained in here. Uh, open Houses, if anyone has ever used an app called Open House Pro, we have something similar where people can actually sign right into your open house. And again, it's all tracked. It's all right there all the time for you to pull up. Uh, this becomes a very big differentiator in the fact that you could walk in with this device now and your competition is probably not going to have it right away. My own personal prediction is, guys, within five years, every single one of you will originate a listing or buyer uh, disclosure or buyer agreement on some type of tablet device. So I have one quick question. Yes. Is this web-based? This is not web-based. This, this runs directly off of your iPad. Okay. Um, so if you do not have an internet connection, you do not have, an, have to have an internet connection to do this. Of course we'd like to have one. What I explained in the video is this can be published 
directly to an internet site while you're still at the kitchen table. Uh, we host over 150 real estate websites. Our clients that are going to have this app, they're going to be able to basically get that property advertised on their own company website. I want to emphasize their own company website before they leave the property. All right, so that, that's, okay. that's actually really good, and I, and I hate to say we're kind of short on time, but this is the best thing about this is it's powerful, and you can actually do it without having the, the internet around you, and it's not right. web-based. So, Joe, um, I, we have one question as Seth kind of, if you want to transition to over here, Joe, so Seth can kind of go set up and get ready for the next sure. one. We'll take one question, and then we have to, go ahead. Is it just iPad or tablet? Uh, today, as of today, it's just iPad. It will transition to other tablets probably within the next year or so. Okay, and then one more question from does Valerie it, as Seth is getting set up. Does it work with the original iPad or do you need iPad? Uh, it'll, work, uh, it'll work with the original iPad. I run it on an iPad 1. Um, the only thing with the iPad 1 is you don't have the camera. You've got to remember something. Everything is self-contained right now in the iPad, so you don't even need it. You could walk in there, take a dozen pictures of the property, without a camera. It's all right in the iPad if you're using an iPad 2 and above. Okay, that, that's good. And then just keep in mind, again, these guys, everybody's going to be kind of here after the session. I know I'll we're kind around. of short on time. Just to feel free to come up after and ask Joe more questions. And then we're going to transfer over. Th thank you, Joe. I'm sorry, give Joe a round of applause. Thank you. And then we just got, we have Seth Kaplan over here from uh, Mobile Real Estate ID. He's going to talk about his a new service that he's the co-founder of. So Thank you. Good afternoon, great. everybody. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Mobile Real Estate is a mobile, one of the mobile partners of MLSLI. Uh, some of you may know we provide a full mobile tool set for every agent who is a member of the MLS. It allows you to mobilize all of your listings using QR codes, text messaging, and single property mobile websites, as well as a mobile website for you as the agent. Uh, but what I'm here to talk to you today about is one of our newest products, which we actually released uh, in response to a lot of the things we're hearing from the real estate agents and brokers we talk to on a daily basis, which is how do I use my tablet, my iPad, my Android tablet to really become productive? How do I harness the power of that? And one thing that we kept hearing that people were having trouble with was how do we use it consistently to make presentations? So our new tablet listing presentation product allows you to easily and efficiently create and manage content uh, that can be displayed on an iPad for prospects as you go into the home. We all know that the tablet device is a great presentation tool. You know, there's countless numbers of them out here in the audience today, and as I walked around the tech fair, so many people are now using the tablet, but one of the things that it's best for is doing presentations. So our tablet listing presentation uh, will, within uh, the next quarter, be directly linked to your account and available to you through the account that we provide with MLSLI and allows you to easily and efficiently customize your listing presentation for a prospect, download it to your iPad, go into the home, display the presentation from the iPad, and then either have your prospect but via email or leave behind, download it to their iPad so that they can review it with their spouse or whomever they're making that listing decision with. Uh, and what you see up here on the screen is an example of the coach listing presentation, which we recently optimized for the tablet. Not only can it include content, but links to video that would play with internet. And I'm just going to close this out because I know we're short on time here. But also external links to different websites, whether it's uh, some of your listing material or marketing material that you do. And you can customize this both for the prospect as well as for the address. Uh, very simple, easy, efficient to use and it does uh, allow you to download it right to the iPad to display the presentation without any internet needed. Uh, so it's really a great tool for doing presentations on the iPad and something that's currently available to all brokers and shortly will be available uh, to all agent members of the MLS as well. So I know we're short on time. Products. It makes that listing presentation that much easier to access on the go, but I just wanted to open it up for questions. Sure. Anybody have a question for Seth over here? Okay, in the front of the room. Sure. Give Seth the, the mic. If Seth, you want to come on over here. Well, Rob, if you step up to the podium and set up. Okay. Um, how, where do we find this on MLS? Uh, this currently isn't on MLS, but I can certainly give you my card afterwards and, and we can connect on it. It's available from our company, Mobile Real Estate, uh, and I'll be here afterwards so I can give you our full contact information and get that over to you. For Android 
Yes, it works on all tablet devices and also can be viewed by the prospect both on tablet and on their desktop. So in case they don't have a tablet, you can email it to them and they can either download it to their tablet device and view it there or from the desktop. And that, that brings up a good point. Because these products are so new, the links out there on MLS, we, they're, they're almost there, but that's why it's more, even more important to meet with these guys and get the, where to go to get them at the, at the end, too. So um, any other questions? I know we're almost done setting up. We have time for maybe one more quick question. Right, right, go ahead. What is the cost? Uh, right now, it's only available for brokers, but the cost to the agent will be somewhere around $24.95 to $34.95 when it is available. Per month. Per month. We can talk And how much for a broker? It, when, it depends on the level of customization built into the presentation. Okay, so that's uh, for the brokers. Okay, great. Thanks so much, Seth. Everyone wants to give Seth a round of applause. That was great. Nice presentation. And we have speaking now is Rob Odishu, co-founder, founder of Announce My News, Announce My Listing as well. You guys probably heard about that. He's going into Announce My News. Thank you. I'm actually going to start out with Announce My Listing because that's how you're going to get over to Announce My News. So I just want to let you guys know, uh, last year we launched Announce My Listing over here. And so if you guys haven't used that, it is a member benefit. So to answer your question, how much does it cost? It's free. Thank you, MLS. So uh, <laughs> it's a great way for you to get introduced to your clients, friends, and family using social network. Also through snippets onto Craigslist, into blog sites, and also in HTML email. Now the reason why I bring that up is because you have a hyperlink on your site right now that takes you over to announce my listing. Okay, so right now you can get over to announce my listing and then in announce my listing, there is a link for you to come over to announce my news. Okay, so that's how you're gonna get to us right now. And the reason is there is no link on your site at this moment to get over to our new product, announce my news. We are in the first week of launch here. So you're gonna start hearing more about it in the upcoming weeks and hopefully they'll have a link on your site soon. Okay, so for right now, that's how you get to it. And if you want training on announce my news because I don't have time to go into it, there is a training button right here, as you see, when you log in, and we have plenty of classes to tell you how it works. But let me tell you what it is. We are taking content for you to be able to help you connect with people online, through social network, through media like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. And the reason is because we're finding that realtors either don't have the time or the creativity to keep content going on their social media sites. So anyone here doing social marketing, whether you're a blogger, whether you're on Facebook, whatever it is, you're probably starving for content to be able to share because most agents right now are just sharing listings. I have a new listing, I have a new listing. Well, eventually you're gonna lose the people who are following you because eventually they get tired of seeing the same stuff over and over. So what we provided for you are three different ways. Your MLS and your association are gonna create content for you in a local community. They're gonna want you to spread this out to the homeowners in the local community that you service. For example, your legislative group here is gonna have content like this, which is gonna talk about events going on with the elections, things that are gonna impact home ownership, and they're gonna create announcements for you, which you can then share on social media. Get the conversation started with your past clients and prospects. We also have a library, as you saw here, of a whole bunch of different content on a variety of different topics. Health, food, recipes, holiday announcements, pretty much things that go social throughout the internet. And so we provide content that allows you to just click and go. You choose what content you want, you click a button, and it's now branded for you. So you don't have to think of new creative content to share. We give you an opportunity to write your own personal message on each announcement, and you simply come up, you click the share this button, post it on Facebook, and you're done. We also have content for things like holidays, upcoming things like keeping your kids safe during Halloween, just things that are gonna be posted to social media, onto your blog site, that's gonna engage your past clients, your followers, people you wanna to talk to on social media. So that's it in a nutshell, I'll take some oh, questions. That's great, any, um, thank you. Anybody have any questions for Rob on Announce My News? We have, uh, if you wanna to come to the, the sure. front here. Yes, ma'am. How do you post it on your fan page? Like when you click on Facebook, does it ask right. you if you wanna to go to your timeline or? Um, in case you guys don't know how that works, when you do, you do have a fan page, it's also tied into your personal account. So the default is to go into your personal account. So when you click on Facebook, it always goes to your timeline first. And then there's a little pull down button there. If you pull that down, you can send it out through email, you can post on a friend's wall, and you can also post onto your business page. So it's one of the defaults when you see it at the top, when you open up Facebook. On, and not only on our site, this is a Facebook app. So the share app for Facebook gives you the option when it says, where do you want to share this? The default is timeline. You click on that and then you'll see page, my page, and that's your business page. 
So you can post this on your page or your timeline or as, as well. Or through HTML, email, or blog sites, or whatever content you're using to be able to communicate with your past clients. Any, uh, one, one more question before we wrap the session up. One more question from the audience on Announce My News. Uh, most of the stuff, you just, all the stuff you just saw are free. So the announcement listing package and also the MLS stuff are all part of your member benefit and we will have different content on a monthly basis that is free. If you want to create announcements on your own, it's just a nominal charge of one or two dollars. And we also have pre-created content, a whole bunch of library stuff that if you want upgraded announcements, things that are really going to pop online that have music and videos and things like that, those are going to be one or two dollars as well. But there's going to be plenty of stuff that's free for you. Okay, so this is a great free product and thank you Rob, I'm going to give Rob a round of applause. And that actually ends our hot, and I know that was a lot of information, that was our hot new tech product showcase, uh, but don't forget these guys are going to be at the Appy Hour, um, if you want to meet them after the uh, fair for a drink or two, or... Uh, <laughs>